All right, welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our first chronicle in the Septimus 3 mod pack uh, for Skyrim SE. We are on our way to... I always forget the name of this place. All right, this is where we're at, Nightgate Inn, and we are trying to make our way over to Winterhold. So we still got quite a ways to go, a lot of treacherous ground, I'm sure. I'm thinking probably head north right here and then just cut right. Rather than, I think this is a problem. I, I'm pretty sure this is undead. Remember, I had to roll back my video count quite a bit. That brings me to the next topic. I want to try and get as much content in here as I can without skimping on the travel times. Um, because this is an adventuring game. You just run into stuff right on your way. Um, but I have some small concern. I'm recording tomorrow's episode right now. This is uh, currently Monday the 26th and so uh, I'm going to be recording several episodes today to get uh, things uploaded and ready for release throughout the week but we are at the end of September as I just mentioned um, the date and I feel like we got a long ways to go so uh, let's go ahead and get to it remember this chronicle is about getting to level 20 so that we can start the Dawn Guard Chronicle, but I, I want to start that Dawn Guard Chronicle at a point that we can be kind of hitting our stride as we hit Halloween, you know. Uh, we don't have to be closing the Chronicle out, but we need to be getting to the point in the storyline where things are getting exciting. Let's see, it looks like we're going to go this way. Don't I have a horse? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, try and get to a road. I don't... I'm not seeing a road. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is where we want to go. I think. Let me double check the map. Okay, we are headed in the right direction. Let's back that uh, camera off a little bit. Oh. Oh, and they're fighting, too. There's people up here fighting. I'd rather just wait and see if they can win. I don't really want to get involved in this. I wonder if we can shoot that gap. I need the mammoth to come down a little bit more. I see two giants and a mammoth. Uh, I don't know if we could get... I don't think we could squeeze by that mammoth. So we're going to need to... That really sucks. This was the road that I wanted to take. Golly, take it easy, horsey. Wayward pass discovered. We're in combat. I got plenty of stamina with the horse. So it looks like we were, in fact, able to shoot the gap. Oh. Let's just try and get away from everybody. Okay, often has been discovered. Alright, let's go ahead and deal with these guys. needed that power strike. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Wow, that was a kill shot. Uh, that was kind of awesome. I mean, that dude was at full health. And he had just popped a health potion, so I don't know if he was also gaining health. Okay, now. I'm here. I need to find a way down the mountain, and I think that's not going to be... Well, hold on. As I say that, I think I see a route over here. Felt like I made, uh, that was maybe the first fight that I made a moderately good use of my role. Got out of trouble a couple times. Uh, it was still clunky because I was having a hard time with the targeting system, so... save. Okay, so far so good. We're gathering up some good loot. Okay, back to camera off again. We are uh, in freezing temperatures, though. Is that a frozen mammoth, or is he just kind of snugged up against the wall there? There's a lot of wolves out here. That's a frozen mammoth. Oh. Here. Let's go ahead and not, maybe not stop for every single wolf in keeping with what I told you about earlier where I'm trying to... Oh, we got emperor penguins. Wow. A veritable slaughter going on here. I am uh, too far, too far down. I'm on the coastline. Is that the college out there? I don't think so. It can't be. College should be up here somewhere. Oh, come on. Okay, there's the statue of Azura, the shrine. Here we go. Oh, 
Hold on, before... Let me go talk to this guy out here. That looks like trouble. Fugitive. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. Oh, I Are see. Don't lose it. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Yeah, I don't really care about your uh, threats. Or care for them. Saber cats hit hard. All right, so there was really no need to go down there. So we'll just pick up where my auto save was at. Not my auto save, my quick save. And go ahead and talk to our quest NPC. Dragonborn, I am Lan, Moraine's warder. Hello, Lan. What exactly do warders do? No, I think I would go. What's the situation? They've tried to hide their passage, but I have seen them. There are Trollocs here. We must proceed with caution. Trollocs. How can you <clears throat> not know of Trollocs? I've seen men who have been soldiers all their lives freeze like a bird facing a snake when they confronted a Trolloc. You will find out soon enough. Yeah, that sounds kind of Let's serious. Go. So this is the cave that we need to enter into. We're right on top of level 10, too. I think I only saw two, but I remember from recording this in my previous try where I had my guy all messed up in points that there were three. And there we go. Okay. All right, so we got all three of them. This right here I was able to figure out pretty quickly. Sisters, shield of air protects this entrance. Focus the one power towards it and it will open. And so I was like, okay, I wonder if my shout will work. And it does. So, quick save it. all out of stamina and that's what frost does to you she hit me with a couple of those lances
Rapid fire. I don't know why my people aren't going in there. Maybe I can try sprinting to her. Oh, that was close though. Some some variation of that is the right move. The only thing is is that my momentum carries me past her. That's why it feels like my guy's on ice skates sometimes. And I, I'm out of uh out of energy. Hmm. Oh yeah, so I wanted to remind you, I am almost certain that I'm a little bit... You know what? I'm not under-leveled anymore. I think maybe I was level 10 before. No, I had made it to level 13, right? So I was between 10 and 13, so that might be one of the problems being caused here. I don't even see my people. Oh, there they are. Maybe she'll drain her magicka. Oh, that time I timed that one well. All right, well, on the one that I needed the least help on because she came in. I actually got my timing down. Okay, I saw that I picked up, uh, potentially picked up a ring. Necklace of water breathing. Ah, oh, that's kind of useless to me. Ah, this ring of minor destruction. Okay, well, th that'll get added to the uh, disenchant pile. Am I overly encumbered? Yeah, I am, just a little bit. Oh, that's why my stamina's been draining. Uh, need to trade. And just give her some of the high weight stuff. Whoops, come back over here. And, uh, there you go. Give her a couple of those. Maybe... Oh, Elven Mace, that's better than what I've got. Orcish does 21, Elven does 21 and weighs more. Why is it considered better then? I think I'd rather sell this. Oh, the Orcish Mace is improved. The Elven Mace is not yet, so this is better. Okay. Hand those two things over also. Okay, so... Not Elven Dagger. Elven Mace. Take Orcish Mace off. And name this number two. That was wrong. Uh, four. That's right. I'm trying to get used to a new numbering system here. Weapons on four and five. Spells on two and three. This might be a convenient place to remember, to keep in mind. They got everything. Sleeping quarters. I mean, this stuff all sells pretty well. Aligning the matrix. Oh, that's right, guys. Let me show you this. Uh, let's read it. Okay, so we, we learned a new spell. 
and it's right here. Look at this. For 60 seconds, weapon and armor improving is 20% better. And enchanting is 20% stronger. I mean, this is phenomenal. We're definitely going to make use of that. It's basically giving you ability to do the things that everybody does the loop of leveling up, enchanting, smithing, and alchemy for. So it allows you, in my opinion, it allows you to get... Now, it's, it's, it's OP, right? I don't know if I would want to do that, use that every playthrough. But, um... It allows you at least uh, maybe a portion of what that loop does without having to put perk points into everything. We meet again, Dragonborn. Oh, don't worry about your friend. She is as good as dead. I don't think so. I doubt you do anything for her, even if you could move. I know you've met Moraine. Like her, we are Aes Sedai. But we also serve another who wishes you dead. I suppose this is a good time as any. Now, Dragonborn! No, stop! <laughs> just needed to last for a little bit. See, I actually, I need all of my companions here to sort of carry me a little bit. Oh, I forgot to quick save it, did I? Yeah. Ah. Man, all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Load up, load up, load up. Please, 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 please. There we go. I get really tired of just, especially whenever I'm trying to condense episodes of silly stuff like that happening. Perhaps I need to uh, bait her a little bit. I need to get Lydia to go in there. Encumbered. Still here. Need to trade. How can I serve you, my thane? And uh, organize by weight. Keep the iron, the elven mace. Give her the orcish mace. What weapon are you equipping now? You're using a one-handed. Are you using the orcish right mace? You. How can I serve you, my thane? Uh, no, she's gonna use the ebony dagger. At 16 damage. Where's that orcish mace at? 21. Give me that ebony dagger back. I'm gonna sell that. What are you using now? Move to weapons. Steel quarter staff. I think you should use. What in the world? Why would you not take the orcish mace? Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. I, I think I did want her to be two-handed because she's doing DPS for me. All right. I'll follow. This should be number four. There we go. Come, let's sprint over here. Since you guys have seen this now, we can just kind of rip through it all. Spell, quick save it. Okay, I'm gonna try and use my dragon Maybe shout to open this up. I think I did that before. Oh, don't worry about your friend. She is. I. Now. What? Oh! So we gotta talk to Moraine. I said I can heal Dragonborn. Please hurry, she's close to dying. I will do what I can, but it is beyond my power to stop the wheel from turning. Can't you see she's tired? Shut Even up, with jerk. An Angriel, what she just did was like running around with a sack of stones on her back. Do you see a girl over there die? You are worth it, Dragonborn, no matter what she says. Don't be so gloomy, Lan. You think only of taking care of me. Why should the Dragonborn not think the same of Avienda? How about you just try not being a monster, you idiot? You want to throw down? Are you well, child? Yes, I think so. Thank you, Moraine Sadai. You came for me? Yeah, you're part of our team. I'm allowing myself to be captured. I have toll towards you now. I'm already in your debt, but I, I will find a way to repay you. No need for that. Well, like I said, this is we're a team. We're a team with a very important mission. Everybody is critical i i don't remember but I, I am fine now okay so we need to talk to moraine and notice her cape has this yin yang symbol right and that's that's a symbol of balance so i think that gives a hint to how they View the universe. Care to explain why the Aes Sedai want me dead? There are those who do not walk in the light. Those who serve the Dark One. We call them Dark Friends. Anyone can be a Dark Friend. The Dark One's reach appears to be expanding to even include sisters of the White Tower. Expect more trouble, Dragonborn. In you, there is something the Dark One fears. Who is this Dark One, and why does he fear me? Understand, there is much for which you are not yet ready. Things you cannot learn until you have learned other things, which require still others to be learned before them. But the wheel weaves the pattern around you, Dragonborn. Once you reach your full potential, not even the Dark One will be able to match your strength. That is what the Dark One fears. Know that it is not dragons of which one must be afraid. It is the Dark One. 
and minions of the Dark One. We are needed back home. Will you join us, Avienda? The Wise Ones would very much like to talk to you. No, I wish to stay here with the Dragonborn. Very well, child. I will speak to the Wise Ones. Farewell. All right, so we have like kind of a chosen one prophecy going going on here. All right, we've looted everybody. I guess we should quick save it. And uh, now we're going to go back into the actual town and we should be able to sell all this equipment and get started on our next adventure. Teleportation and rifts into oblivion, wow. All right, well, what kind of think us all lawless beasts? I'm proof of their ignorance. What kind of ingot would I use? Uh-oh. To improve an elven mace. Don't just walk away from me. What do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink, of course. Somebody Where else could I even go in this god's first And what? You think that would solve all of your problems? Probably. But it's worth a try. Somebody do some poor mercy! Right I'm getting out of here. All right. Uh, I wonder if I have any hope of selling all the equipment that I have on me before face try to face this dragon. The whites take you. Oh, they won't do it. <laughs> I will not save you. Okay. Ne needle hide dragon. I don't really know what that means right now. like a level 10 dragon I probably am gonna have to lure him out to open ground oh holy smokes man it won't equip my shield I don't know how I'm supposed to compete with that
Well, I know he won't land if I'm in the town. But, well, he will, but he'll land like that on ropes. But if I leave the town, I'm not going to have the archery support. So right now, I'm just trying to keep him occupied. Oh. Yeah, that sucked. I had just hit tab. And my Fusro Da didn't do anything, or however you pronounce that. Well, crapola, guys. This is a raw deal. health gone. Hopefully I have iron bolts on me also. I'm not really sure if I do or not. Go ahead and quick save.
so maybe a half health he oh he took off again maybe at half health he's scripted to land because I think that's what happened last time also Man, one snap. Uh, armor rating increase. Do I have reflection? Yeah. Let's grab that. Take a couple things of stamina and healing. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, we were, I was close. Where did it come from? I was close. That reflection, that potion of reflection, I think really helped. Got him, okay. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Oh boy, man. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands are Oh, thanks, bud. Let's see. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Invitation from Raymond Lumine. Diakir, Diakir, um, inventory, let's read this, Radiant Raiment purchases a set of tailoring supplies, Duchess of Stormhaven, outfits for walking, traveling, and sparring, Robes, jackets, ulsters, wraps, and cows. Crisis with all latest improvements at wholesale city prices. I don't know how to say that word. Couturier? Couturier? <laughs> like, I want to say courtier, but it's it's not. There's no R there. Um, Raymond Lumine Diacair have prepared an array of charming novelties which they venture to predict will be prevailing fashion in Skyrim. Patterns, measurements, and sales are conducted in-house between the hours of 12 and 1800. Radiant Raiments, 28 Antiochus Street, City of Solitude, branches in High Rock, Alcare and Evermore, and in Somerset, Aveline. That's... That's cool. 
whoever did this mod that's really neat that's look at the design and the language sounds legit you know like an actual business a high a high level business oh man that's pretty nifty we might have to check that out and see if they've got anything useful for my guy all right let's uh let's save it let's see if i can loot this without getting in trouble that's a lot of stuff i am apparently not overly encumbered grab that steel arrow we are freezing steel bolt steel bolt okay and we will try and go sell whatever it is that I'm able to sell I guess I better check and see if I have upgrades first. Okay, not, no upgrades here. And over here... Reinforcement? No. Uh, looks like everything I'm wearing is, is the best stuff. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Uh, this is actually a place where I can pause you, huh? So I will be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, I've sold off what I could. We have a lot of magic items to donate to the Disenchant safe back home. So I'm still at 339 pounds for my uh, carry weight, but we have 4,400 gold. And uh, I wanted to show you this. My brother's a good-for-nothing drunk. <laughs> We'd have lost the house by now if it were up to him. <laughs> the mod author here, that's awesome. It's the meme that lost, uh, that, the Just meme that launched a thousand no rees. <laughs> I thought that nope. was funny. Sorry, nothing. So we're going to go into here. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. All right, and then here, if we open up our quest log. And go through our quests. That one is where we're at right now. Speak with the strangers at the frozen hearth. That's where we're at. It's these guys right here. What did you do? Yes. It was a Speak quickly. Is there anything I can help you with? No, nah, I don't think so. Okay, right, must be. We're gonna have to talk you. with this guy. We've been waiting for you. Are you the one? Are you Dragonborn? Need something? Yes, I'm Dragonborn. Then it is true. This gift has been given to a mere mortal. We have a proposition for you, Dragonborn. A way to serve a power even higher than yourself. If you are interested, come with us. Our leader will answer any questions you might have. No, I'm not ready yet. Very well. Speak to me when your curiosity grows the better of you. So I don't know what that quest is about, but I know that I've got a whole list of quests on me right now. Um, that I want to get done and also I don't like the tone of his voice he doesn't sound trustworthy just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat oh, okay I, I looked like she was drawing a bead on us I mean, what do you want what, what are you up to <laughs> um, okay so then what else let's uncheck that I think there was something else up here. Maybe the college is what I'm thinking of. Wind Peak and I think that's in Windhelm. Miscellaneous. Investigate Shroud Hearth Barrow. That's Iverstead. Leader of the Companions. I'm not going to do that. Join Stormcloak or Imperial 
lead a legion well stormcloaks or imperials kill the bandit leader at silent moon's camp this one along with uh Mm, this one are back near white run so let's uh try at least to talk to the college that's gonna be this way Actually, I, I tell you the truth, I don't want to do that yet. We are perhaps close to that, but I think I want to go back to Whiterun and start some of these other quests. Knock those out. Um, we might go do the Jurgen Windcaller and advance the mainline Dragonborn quest also. Here pretty soon. Let's... Uh, uh, let's wrap Hope this episode up. By teleporting back home. And sorting some of the stuff that I have on hand. And you can kind of see how I do that. We have about eight minutes left in this episode, so we can wrap it up that way. And in the next episode, we'll knock out some of those quests near White Run. And, uh, perhaps go do the Jurgen Windcaller quest. Peckish, slightly tired, okay. Also, uh, probably off screen, I will level up enchanting as much as I can. And then before we close this episode out, I will I will sleep and we can uh, have our guy level up. Let's open this. Now I did notice uh, this right here. This is an added like a new item through a mod, and I I think actually all three of these are because I can't seem to disenchant them. And I think that's because the enchanting table doesn't recognize them because they're modded items. They're, they're added, they're created by modders. That's what my suspicion is. But we will store that. One of those. Circlet of Minor Illusion. Both of those, this necklace, both of those, that, okay, we got three steel shields that, are, oh, two of them I can sell. Okay, so then that shows you kind of a, a snapshot of the items we have to disenchant. I now need, I need to go up here to my raw materials chest, and I need to dump dragon bone and scales, all of my hides. And I should be able to make a an imperial tent with the amount of hides I got there. Okay, over here is where I've been saving my cards. All right, what else do I have? I need to sell two shields. 
I don't remember if I have anywhere where I'm storing book stuff. I need to sell the Orcish Mace. Because both of the girls are using two-handers. And I think that's it. Painting. Okay, this is Legend of the Dragonborn stuff. Oh, good. I need, I need potions. Okay, how many potions do I have right now? Healing. I have four minor healing. I like these minor... Uh, healing potions. I will take uh, how about ten? Maybe give me six of these. I'll go ahead and grab that. Two of those. Both of those. And I think that'll do it. All right, do I have anywhere where I'm keeping books? Uh, that's all stuff I can sell. And then I just picked up another magic item it was this carry weight is increased by 25 well that's maybe I want to actually hand that to one of the girls Avienda yes why are you fine well, she was going to ask why am I staring at her there you go Avienda she oh health regeneration I think I'd rather have her have health regeneration. Give me that back. Ready We're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and disenchant that one. Although I would rather disenchant health regeneration. Oh, maybe I couldn't disenchant these other ones because I already know those spells. That's a possibility. Yes. Why are you looking down on me like that? Is I see those. Is the mighty Wedlander not able to carry his own things? I see your accusational eyes. Give me this, and I will give you that. I'll give that a shot. Good. Let's get moving. Okay. So we got about a. Just under two minutes left. Let me see if I can sell stuff. Before shops close. time is it? Okay, 8 o'clock. Very well. We're just under a minute. We will go sleep and level up. I'm gonna go with Magicka. I want to make sure I can get into that college. And I'm using a higher level spell now. Fast healing. Uh, 12 hours would take me to 8. 10 hours would take me to 6. Alright. Increased magicka. Oh, we, we leveled up. We got 2 points to spend. Mm-hmm. And I might want to spend them in enchanting. I don't. I don't know. Let's see. What what did I have have available? I remember restoration was looking interesting to me. Okay, timer. Well, I, well, I could put both into restoration. 
Let me double check though, because I had said, remember I had said heavy armor blocking and one-handed is what I needed to focus on. Um... Blocking is currently at 26, and I need 30. What about one-handed? All right, well, it looks like I'm kind of stuck right now for those. What do we have for enchanting? I just have... Oh, I'm going to need to put at least one. So that I can do enchanting. Okay. And let's go ahead and grab Pilgrim. Because that's going to make that prayer give us more health. It'll, it'll make it twice as strong. And that, that still, that actually is a direct help to our warrior attributes. So I still like it. Okay, um, I am going to s eat some food. All right, we're well fed. And we need to do the prayer for the day. And then I'm going to go activate the magic stone and then uh, disenchant whatever I can. That'll be off screen. So we will, what am I looking at there? Okay, wardrobe. We'll save it right here. And again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods, and I will see you in the next episode where the story continues.